Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of I Bought A Watch. So today we've got a rather special episode with a double unboxing of two brands, that is Parnis and Heimdaller, that we've never actually had on the channel before. And I've got two really cool watches here today that I haven't seen being reviewed too much on YouTube. So hopefully this is exciting for you guys. I'll try and get the reviews out for these two after I've given them a couple weeks wear, but I just wanted to give you guys a sneak preview and my first impressions. Now, before I get into the video itself, um, these two watches will be both linked in the description. Um, I bought them both off AliExpress. Those will be affiliate links. So that just means I get a little bit of commission as a finder's fee and that money goes straight back into the channel to fund giveaways and buy more watches to show you guys. Speaking of giveaways, I've hit 2000 subscribers recently and am doing a 2000 subscriber giveaway. And the watch I'm giving away is this 43 millimeter Pagani Design Submariner Hulk Homage. It's an amazing watch, got an NH35 uh, movement inside. I will leave a link up here to the full review if you want to know more about that. Now to enter the giveaway, all you got to do is like this video and comment in the comment section below. Something simple, doesn't really matter, just like I want this watch, I like watches, I bought a watch even, I don't really care. Whatever you comment, make it funny, Keep the uh, conversation going, please don't spam. It's just one comment per person. And then in a couple weeks time, I will just randomly pick a winner using a comment selector website. Anyway, on to this double unboxing. To start off with, we've got a kind of David and Goliath thing going on here. I'll get back to that in a bit. Let's start off with the Parnas, and this is definitely the Goliath of the two. I must say, both of them have rather cool boxes. They have really uh, up the game. We got the some foam protective packaging, a little book of words um, that no one ever reads. Got kind of every watch, every watch under the sun in there in instructions. Got a little hang tag, which is nice to see. Little plastic, plastic hand tag and the watch itself. Now, uh, no prizes for guessing what this is paying homage to. It is of course the Tudor Black Bay 58. No, sorry, just the Tudor Black Bay, not the 58, because this is the bigger, 40, 41, I think. I'll have to go check that. Of course, I'll cover everything in the full review. Bit of a slab of a watch. Let me actually get a polishing cloth. Um, it's a little, little mucky. I have actually taken it out, removed the packaging, um, the like stickers and whatnot, and resized it because I want to keep this video swift. Um, but look at that, what a stunning watch. It does have some differences. It's clearly not got the Tudor Snowflake handset. They've gone for a Mercedes handset and a rather cool looking um, arrow, arrowhead style second hand. I do like this watch. It's obviously black, black gilt dial and a red aluminium bezel. Um, speaking of the bezel, let's give it a little ratchet. It's a little, little thin, um, gives it a nice profile, but it's a little hard to grip and a lovely clean ratcheting there. Um, no playback really. Um, let's see how it lines up. Ooh, there we go. It seems to be a 60 click. That's one click um, per minute. We've got signed, signed Parnas crown. Lovely substantial. This is a really, when I was resizing it, I really noticed that this is a really substantial bracelet, really solid feeling. Very similar to my, um, my Christopher Ward actually. Um, I mean, that's no disrespect to the Christopher Ward and everything to do with, well done for Parnas for making this bracelet. And I really love the clasp here. They've clearly opted for the Tudor style clasp. Um, and they've got these ceramic ball bearings there to keep it all together. Um, we've got plenty of levels of micro adjust and it's just a simple fold over, very satisfying clip clasp there. Another thing is this is 22 millimeters. So it is a big watch, um, but I in the full review, I'm looking forward to getting the uh, Artem straps uh, on this bad boy. I think it will pair really well. Anyway, enough of that. Let's talk about the Heimdaller. Again, a watch that I haven't seen too much on YouTube. Comes in a nice sleeve and a nice box. Open the box straight into the watch. Um, no, no little book of words there. Which, you know, I, it's not necessary. Uh, it's kind of foam, foam in there. But look at this. Now again, no prizes to guess what this is paying homage to. It is of course the Omega Seamaster. Um, again, not an exact one-to-one -one homage. Um, this one's a bit more on the nose, but the handset here, the hour hand is from the old 
Omega Seamaster. Um, but, but yeah, and another thing is this, this, this is where the David and Goliath thing is. This is quite a chunky, heavy steel watch. But this one is actually, if I flip it over, made out of, there you go, 100% titanium. So this watch is actually ridiculously light. Really cool, cool looking dial. Um, I, have, I haven't had a white dive watch. Actually, I haven't had a white dial. Oh no, I have my Seiko uh, Perpetual Calendar Chronograph uh, watch, but, but this is a really cool, I really do like the black and white. I know Bark and Jack did a review um, or video more like of his um, Omega Seamaster and spoke and that kind of inspired me to go out and buy one of these But another cool thing about this watch is this bracelet. It's got that shark on the deployant clasp. It's really cool fine Mesh and I'm not sure if it's you would call it a Milanese because it's slightly Slightly different. It's got this interesting kind of deployant clasp uh, style that you can just resize simply by threading that through and picking your size, then it kind of pops in as you can see, and then that links up. Um, speaking of which, let me get these both on the wrist and end this video. There you go, pop that on, and I must say, this is, you can feel that it's titanium, you can hardly notice you're wearing it. I think the bracelet itself is steel, so that's the bulk of the weight. In the full review, I'm gonna have to, to weigh it and see what the uh, weight distribution here is, but, on wrist, it feels incredibly, incredibly comfortable. Um, and now quickly, this is the, uh, the sizing I was speaking about. It's actually really easy to, so if you had a really big wrist, you put it on there, or you want to wear it particularly loose. Now this one, as you can see, quite a bit, quite a bit bigger, um, quite a bit chunkier watch, but actually that the female end links on this one, keep it compact. And although it's quite a, uh, quite a slab on wrist, it's still, Still doesn't feel too too ridiculously big due to that compact lug to lug. Anyway, that kind of does it for this episode. Yeah, so uh, let me know what your thoughts are of these two watches, and like and subscribe if you want to. You know, stay tuned for when the review comes, and of course, like and subscribe if you want to get in on a chance of winning this watch. All you got to do, like the video, comment down in the comments below, and be a subscriber. Um, well, that does it for this episode. Uh, yeah, all that's left to say is stay safe, guys. Stay awesome. And I'll see you again in the next episode. Bye.